so then source fed. That's the big deal. Yeah. Right? So then I got the fucking job at source fed, and I and Phil gave me a big chance to like you know give put put all my shit out there, and and uh, and he cast the net to see if like you know people would like me, and thankfully they did. And uh, yeah, I've been with fucking source fed since the very beginning. A lot of people are like, oh, Steve didn't start in the very beginning, and I guess like mm. technically I didn't, but like I was hired as a part time yeah. host. Right before they launched SourceFed, so uh-huh. like technically, I guess you could say I started when it yeah. started. Yeah. Well, and my I caught on to SourceFed shortly after they launched, and you were there, so that I associate that with you being there. Yeah, I mean, I was there. I wasn't on camera mm-hmm. quite yet, but I was definitely a part of the company at the time. Mm-hmm. So. But uh, so I mean, that four years. Have you have you been there the longest? At, at this, point? this point, I think. Darren, oh sure, is, yeah, has uh, been uh, there longer than I have, but mm-hmm. he's also left before and is also leaving again. So, oh, really? so as soon as he leaves, yeah, I'll be the. I mean, I'm definitely the longest. Ho- I've been there. Host. Yeah, right. yeah. I'm the. I'm the. Yeah. Well, however you phrase that. Sure. Uh, but yeah, yeah, I've been there for. Some would say too long. No. <laughs> I don't say that. Yeah. All right. Well, thanks. That's not sarcastic, but uh, I mean, you're hilarious. Thanks, man. I appreciate that. And uh, I mean, you've done a lot of stuff there. You you create a lot of content and stuff like that. Oh yes. But what have what has been, I guess the the takeaway as vague as and big a question that is because even I'm sure even like your direction of what you wanted to do and what SourceFed as as a brand was doing or whatever and, and. Something that has changed over oh, the course so of much. four years. Source yeah. fed at right now is almost unrecognizable. Right. Yeah, I was thinking about that the other day. Yeah, it's a very different show. Um, yeah. And uh, I don't know. I think my takeaway is is that, man, what an amazing opportunity the whole thing has been for me. Like, mm-hmm. you know, some of my close friends would say, like, oh, man, you're so talented, you probably would have done something at some point mm. but as far as i'm concerned source fed really like gave me my big break i mean and it, mm-hmm. and it and people know who i am because phil made the decision to put this fat bearded guy on camera and just give him a shot and i will always be grateful for that and, and i think the big takeaway is is that um you know source fed is really kind of like my home yeah. And it's a, it's a, it's, it's just. There's no signs of stopping that I can see currently, but it's certainly mm. not <clears throat> the last thing I want to do with my life, you know. Sure. But yeah. for the time being, I'm having so much fun. It really, let me do whatever I want over there. Mm-hmm. And I, and that's priceless, man. It's priceless that I'm given this like this stage. Phil gave us this built-in stage with his audience to just play around with. And, you know, and I always think about, like, the YouTubers that work their asses off from zero to 100,000, 200,000 to a million subscribers. And I have so much respect for those people because they really did put in the actual work, like Phil himself. For me, I feel like, man, we're, we are talented for sure. Joe, Lee, mm-hmm. Elliot, Will, Lieberman, Bree, Maud, Raina, Sam, everybody. They're all talented people. Meg, Ross, whoever, all those people. Uh, but, you know, we really were given a very easy platform to kind of, like, sure. grow. It was a built-in audience that we all, you know, and obviously you can't just put anybody in front of a massive audience and people will like them and they'll do well. Yeah. Uh, but, you know, there had to be something to us on an individual level. But it, I'm very grateful for the stage that SourceFed yeah. is. And, I, and, I'll, and that's something that uh, I will... Never forget, obviously. Right. Well, I, I had Ross on here uh, a while ago, and well, that uh, I had mentioned. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> and I mentioned to him that, like, I don't know how you, you'll take this or whatever, but that, like, I see SourceFed in a few other places on the internet as this kind of uh, SNL of the internet world, in that it like kind of incubates this talent, and then these people go on and do amazing things. Yeah, you know? yeah, that's a great way of of describing it. I I actually I've I've felt that way for a while too that it really is mm-hmm. kind of like an SNL of the YouTube world because when you think of SourceFed it just literally is just a name. It's not like right. my name, it's not Joe's yeah. name, it's not Ross's name. 
Uh, mm-hmm. It's 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 a, it's this kind of like ambiguous title that mm-hmm. uh, that has hosts under it, and hosts yeah. have come and gone. So right. yeah, it really is one of those things where it's like anybody could really step up and be a source fed host if they had the chops for it. Mm-hmm. Uh, but yeah, there there is there's like generations of of source fed too. It's right. so funny. But yeah, it's very yeah, very SNL like. 